Albert Grande here from pizzatherapy.com, legendspizza.com slash blog. I have Jonathan Goldsmith and John Arena, two master pizziolo. Jonathan from Spockanopoly in Chicago, been making pizza for many years. He would say he's just a student. And John Arena, who I say is a master pizziolo, he says, no, I'm just a pizza guy. So what I wanted to ask you about is your philosophy of pizza, of making pizza. Okay, I guess I can... I can start. I can start. For me, pizza is about collaboration. Everything about the experience, whether it's the the creation of the pizza, the making of the pizza, the relationship between the people that are that are in our very unique subculture, it all of it is about relationships. That's that's what matters to me. I'm not interested in Neapolitan style versus Chicago style versus New York style or any of, any of the other political stuff that might that might seep into any industry. What I'm interested in is working with people that I love. So you know, Jonathan and I have had an amazing collaboration and friendship that, uh, that really is, a, is the embodiment of what the pizza experience is supposed to be. And we always say, we don't have competitors, we have colleagues. How, how did you guys meet? What, is, what started off the, uh, the pizza wheel spinning, so to speak? I'll, I'll take this one. Um, the food editor for Chicago Magazine, Penny Pollock, was doing a book, and I think it was in process, called Everybody Loves Pizza. And I guess she had organized a group of colleagues, people she knew, maybe some people who were recommend to her to do a tour of pizzerias in Chicago. And I think we were newly opened, and sure enough, John and his cousin Sam, Sam Fartini, partners since they were 11 and 7, more or less, mm -hmm. yeah. 11 and 7, were part of the group and came into the pizzeria. And they felt something at Spaca that, that in some ways maybe I was cut from the same cloth. And sure enough, uh, I think it was Sunday evening, summer, because we sat outside, they returned. I'm not sure if others were with John and Sam and dined and we sat down so we really didn't know each other at that moment uh, but we were at the table together and what I what I really embrace and remember fondly was I think it was Sam saying we're not leaving until you've asked us everything you want to ask and I was a, a, a baby uh, just starting and they've been in the metro what anniversary did you just celebrate we, we've been working together for 49 years, but um, we've owned a pizzeria, our pizzerias in Las Vegas for 36 years. Yeah. So, so at that point, maybe 26 yeah, years. Yeah, so they just wanted to share with me as, as much as I could, uh, as much as I needed, as much as I wanted at the moment, and that was the start of our relationship. And then over the years, more time has uh, been spent here in Las Vegas with the Pizza Expo, Usually, and for many years, it would be a final uh, get-together for breakfast before I was flying home, where John would say, I'll meet you at the hotel at 4.30 in the morning. We'll go to some diner that's open 24 hours a day, and then we would sit for a couple of hours, and then John would take me to the airport, and I'd make my way home. But over the years, I've used both John and Sam uh, to guide us. I often refer to them as uh, my consigliere, and they've been invaluable in that respect. And in the, most recently, just the time we we're spending together has been quite lovely, uh, such as I heard that one of his new partners and colleagues, Michele D'Amelio, was going to be going to one of John's locations to make a ragu at 5.30 in the morning, and I said, I'm coming. So sure enough, we, were at, uh, we actually arrived at the bakery pizzeria uh, before John arrived, and that was maybe 10 to 6 in the morning, and Emilio, uh, Michael, excuse me, was setting up to make a ragu, and then I was taking advantage of some butternut squash that I needed to cream for a pizza that I wanted to present. So just a, just a who at 5.30 in the morning uh, is up and not gambling, and they're actually on the way to make a ragu and uh, do something with butter squash, butternut squash. And the amazing thing, if I could just add uh, and also ask a question, is that 
this is in the true spirit of pizza. I mean, nobody's paying you to make this pizza. There's no monetary reward in it other than the reward of making the pizza and being together making it. Right, and you know that's at the heart of it is that it's a shared experience. It's we share when we eat a pizza, and in the spirit of that, we share in this in the creative process, and we share in the in the challenges and the physical process of operating restaurants, which can be very challenging. If you know, it, it's we we were Sam and I, my my co partner, my my uh, my cousin. He's like my brother. We remember very well what it was like to be out there on our own. And not know where to turn for advice, and not know where to turn for uh, a friendly word of support. And we responded to Jonathan. We saw a young version of us, a fledgling version of, of us, coming from a different discipline in terms of uh, in terms of the style of pizza. But that wasn't relevant to us. What was relevant is this is a kindred spirit. This is somebody who is building a sense of community around his pizzeria, and. We want to be part of that, and I always, I always say this, and John kind of blushes that John is the pizza maker that I would be if I had the courage, because John is an uncompromising pizza maker, and I've, always, you know, my growing up in the pizza business, some of my, some of my intention was always towards the how, how can I make this commercial? How can I, you know, how can I earn a living making pizzas? Because I was brought up in a pizza family where that was, you know with those hardships and struggles. And Jonathan was that, was that courageous pizza maker who goes out on a limb and goes into a city that has its own pizza identity, a very strong pizza tradition, and brings something that shakes up the whole city. Shakes up a city like Chicago that's a phenomenal culinary mecca and says, I'm going to do something different. I've discovered this wonderful pizza from Naples and I want to share it. And, I, and was willing to take that risk, which is takes unbelievable courage. So, what John did, what John probably didn't realize at the time that we were sitting there with him and saying, "We'll answer all your questions," is what we were really doing was basking in the in the bravery and the uh, and the spirit of of originality that he brought to the pizza scene in Chicago. And we looked at it and said, "You know, if we were going to start over again, this is what we would be doing." You know, and um, we're not starting over again, but we can, we've been blessed with the opportunity to share that experience with him in, in a small way. And uh, it's been a miraculous, really unbelievable journey for us. And naturally, as often happens in these kind of situations, the student becomes the teacher. You know, so I spend time with Jonathan every chance I get because I'm learning things from him. And, and also, getting a sense of peace in what we do and putting in perspective the value of what it means to own a pizzeria, a neighborhood pizzeria, a family-run business that can really, if done right, can change people's lives. What I find fascinating about you, Tom, and you've been making pizza for many, many years. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but you go back to Italy every year. Correct. Right. A few times. Pizza. A few times a year. A few times a year to, to hone your craft, to make it better, and you still consider yourself a student of pizza. Mm -hmm. are, you, are you not a pizza master? No, I have a long way to... This, John is a, a pizza master. Uh, the, it's wonderful to see uh, the, the, the new kids, the, the younger Italians who are joining uh, the group that I'm part of, and looking up to John and embracing his wisdom and his knowledge. I, I, I think it's, you know, how many years now have you been making pizza? 40, it'll, it'll be 49 years in September. So that's almost five times. Um, now our pizzeria just has celebrated its 10th anniversary and started walking the streets of Naples in 2004. So, you know, 12 years, 10 years. And I, I think I'd like to, uh, I see it as a guild that we're part of, and uh, when John entered the guild was a long time ago, so I've gotten to the point, I've entered the guild, and I've gotten to the point where I don't have to go buy the panini and get the water and, and sweep the floor, but maybe I'm allowed to buy the, the tints. I'm still not mixing the colors and adding the fresco to the wall, but I'm getting 
you know, I'm one step further along the way, but it's a learning process. And uh, so that's where I embrace uh, John because uh, there's so much technical information that John has been willing to share as well as just, uh, you know, John is focusing on just the, the culture, which is probably the most important thing to me uh, to embrace in terms of the pizza being bread that we're breaking, that we're sharing together, and each day we strive to put forth the best pizza that we can, but most important is that each day we're trying. But one of the things that John will write about and Sam will talk about is, you know, the passion is probably the most important part of it, but if you don't know what you're doing with the business, you'll be making pizza at home versus making pizza, you know, in, in a public forum. And, and so I continue to not only ask uh, questions about the dough and mixing and breads and getting the, the understanding more of the science that John has backwards and forward, but really also understanding uh, the operation which uh, John has under his belt right now. Yeah, pizza is very simple. Simple dish. Water, salt, flour, yeast. Maybe sometimes olive oil. And yet, no, no. Well, no for not mine. No, not mine. But, but always for mine. <laughs> but those simple ingredients create something totally different than you do a traditional Neapolitan pizza. And John, I know you can do that as well, but you do also lots of other kinds of pizzas. Uh, so where's the top of the ground? Right here. This. We make something with our hands, and the things that we make with our hands become part of somebody's body. And the common ground is that we respect that and we respect the, uh, the obligation of that relationship. So for us, it's not, about, it's, you know, it's not about olive oil or no olive oil. It's about the love of the food and the love of the culture and making something that's going to be nurturing not only for a person, nurturing and be um, sustenance not only for their bodies but for their souls and spirits as well. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Jonathan. Wait, wait, wait a second. We oh, got. Sorry, we got no. There's a question you should be asking. Uh, what is the question? Well, well, I, I, uh, I, this is really cool. Is that we we're just finishing uh, the the Pizza Expo, and uh, the, the John and we all have just received great uh, news that um, uh, one of our colleagues or somebody I just met, Nino Cornelio, won. Uh, the, I guess the grand uh, championship of the pizza performance, not the acrobatics, but of, uh, with his style of pizza. And it's with a flower that John and uh, Giulio and Tony Gimiani, Giulio Adriani, Tony Gimiani, and Michele D'Emilio uh, put together with uh, the Molino Caputo. And uh, when we talk about uh, the pizza, we talk about collaboration and there are many pieces that are part of what actually comes into the, onto the table that we share and brings people together and John being more than humble uh, I just need to recognize so I won't recognize that something very exciting for John which maybe you can talk a little bit about was had the opportunity to uh, come into uh, one of the one of the many great flower companies, Molino Caputo, there are many others that are wonderful, and to participate, go to Naples, and with his New York uh, being, was to put his two cents and his understanding and knowledge and experience and collaborate with the mill and these other pizza makers to put forth this incredible flower that actually showed something today. Right. So we developed a flower that's completely new to the marketplace, and was able to triumph in competition against pizza makers using flowers that have been around for, for generations. So it shows you the strength of the product and also the immense talent of the, of the pizza maker. But I want to point out that that world, that world of, of the Italian flower, this high quality Italian flower, the doors for me were opened up by Jonathan. So there's a, there's a case where everything has come full circle now. There was a point where I was, in a certain sense, Jonathan's guide and in, in, uh, helped him to uh, immerse himself in the business part of the, of the pizza world. And Jonathan, in turn, was my passport, my entry 
into a segment of the pizza world that never would have been available to me had it not been for for John and his willingness to collaborate and invite me in. It never would have happened. So you could say that Nino won that contest today, and we talked so much about how we're all spokes in a wheel, and Nino won that contest today, but conceivably, if I had not been involved in that flower, the flower might have been different, and I wouldn't have been involved with that flower had you not introduced me to, to those people, and because of the immense respect that they have for you, they welcomed me in and changed my life. Brought a whole, you know, at, at nearly 50 years into my pizza journey, which I still consider myself to be very much a beginner, at that point, a whole new set, a whole new doorway opened up into a world that I was aware of, but was not really an integral part of. So it, it's all about the collaboration and the love. Una bella storia, eh? Oh, excellent. Oh, well, Jonathan, do you have any final thoughts? I'm just happy to to be with John, and I'm also happy that this little. Nice little piece, part of his life right now is something to celebrate and to feel good about, and uh, just it's all really nice. <laughs> John, uh, as I, you know, as we said at the beginning, this is about collaboration. It's about love and friendship, and for for me, my relationship with Jonathan has been the embodiment of that. It's been the absolute high point of everything that I've done in the pizza business, and. You know, I'm continuing to learn and grow, hopefully, and that in a large part is because of my, my friendship and love for John. Okay. Thank you, Jonathan Goldsmith. Finally, I just want to say a couple of quick things. Can you tell us Spockinopoly? Give us your website address, please. Okay. We're in Chicago, 1769 West Sunnyside, and the website www.spockinopolypizzeria.com. John, Metro Pizza. Metro Pizza, Las Vegas, Nevada. Uh, I have several locations around town, uh, of various sizes, everything from pizza by the slice to full-service pizzerias, a bakery. Um, but I urge, I urge people when they visit the pizzerias to look for me because in spite of the fact that I have Metro Pizza and I'm very proud of my employees, I always want people to share with me directly. So I'm a working pizza maker. I work and make pizzas every day. It's the love of my life, and more than that, I get to make pizzas with my father, who's 87 years old, and every day we get to work together. Um, that's part of the whole tradition and experience. And um, if you're interested in, in our story and, and learning more about the pizza, pizza industry and the traditions of pizza, um, I think you have some interviews with me at, at pizzatherapy.com, and also... Um, Bravo. At Corona Bravo's website, uh, Peter Reinhardt's uh, very, very uh, well produced website, which uh, is what is I can't even remember the name of it. What is the, uh, the web address for Peter's site? We'll call you and tell you. Okay, yeah, no, I think it's Pizza Quest. Pizza Quest, okay. right? So you can you can find uh, essays that I've written about the, about reflections on the pizza industry and the spirit of pizza. Um, the pizza making process at pizzatherapy.com or at pizzaquest.com. And I'll put some links to that uh, at the bottom. Good. Okay. Jonathan and John, thank you so much for sharing what the spirit of pizza is all about and your relationship and the collaboration. So I thank you both. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.